everybody, happy Thanksgiving. I am trying to get um, uh, some decent light here so I can make a decent video here just for a second, but just wanna say happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And um, I hope everybody's doing great, hope you're doing well. And um, I got new stuff. I got new stuff. So hopefully I'll be able to share it with you guys in the next week or two. So hang in there, I hope you're still with me. <laughs> And I hope you're doing great. Anyways, um, I will talk to you all and see you all very, very soon. How about today? Today seems like a great day for a video. I just got home from my Thanksgiving celebration. I hope that you had a nice Thanksgiving today. I know that sometimes the holidays can be sad for some people and I just want to acknowledge that. Not everybody enjoys the holidays. So I have been in that place. So I just want to tell you, I know how you feel. But having said that, happy Thanksgiving. I hope today was a very blessed Thanksgiving for you. So moving on, I have a haul. Like I've got a haul here. I have had a few shipments that I've ordered some things online and uh, I've got some high-end things and some drugstore things, some things I've been wanting to get for a long time to try. I had run out of skincare. Um, I had been using things that were very drying and not very rejuvenating for this 60 year old face. At this point, I think there, I might have to have a little bit of, I might need a little outside intervention y'all. But anyway, my skin is dry in the winter time. I can't, I can't use a lot of things over the counter, even some of the high end stuff because my skin is so dry in the winter and I am 60. If you want your makeup to look good, you gotta take care of your skin. That is, that's the bottom no line. No amount of makeup is gonna make it look any better, but I'm, I'm just finding that um, it's getting a lot harder. And so probably outside intervention is probably gonna come into play at some point here in the hopefully not too distant future. But in the meantime, I did pick up some skincare that is a little high end and then some on the lower end. I'll start with, I went out on the e.l.f. website and I picked up some cleanser. This is their Holy Hydration um, Daily Cleanser with Hyaluronic Acid and Ceramides. And this is supposed to cleanse the skin and leave skin moisturized and healthy looking. I actually like this. It doesn't dry out my skin. I mean, obviously I'm gonna follow up with some skincare, but uh, this does not strip my skin. So for the price, I can't remember what it was right now, but I'll be sure to put it down at the bottom. But I do like this. This is for dry, oily, and combination skin and it does lather, so the fact that it lathers and doesn't dry out my skin is a bonus. So pretty happy with this for the price, very inexpensive. I also picked up this Holy Hydration Coconut Mist. This is uh, coconut and vitamin E. It also has something called betaine, betaine, B-E-T-A-I-N-E. I don't know what that is, but it hydrates the skin and refreshes makeup with an invigorating, invigorating coconut scent lightweight and perfect to start or end your day or even for a midday refresh to nourish the skin. Um, I like this. It does definitely smell like coconut. There's, it, there's definitely coconut in here. I like to use this initially after I cleanse my face and before I apply this product here. I got this off of Amazon. This was actually recommended to me by a friend who's been using it for a long time and really highly recommends it. She, I think she's 62 or 63. This is a product, it's a company called Asterwood. I've never heard of them, but it's Matrixyl 3000 plus Argireline. It's a peptide anti-aging serum with hyaluronic acid. And so what I do, because there's hyaluronic acid in this, is that I spray my face and then I add a dropper, about a half a dropper of this, put it around in my hands and then I, I rub it into my face. If your skin is damp before applying anything with hyaluronic acid, that's what's gonna lock in that moisture. So it works great for that. And mixing these two together, it feels really good on my skin before I, I use some moisturizer. Another item that I picked up from e.l.f. was their Youth Boosting Advanced Night Retinoid Serum. I had run out of any kind of retinoid or retinol product and I just started using this again. This is a multi-oxidant complex, 1% grand active retinoid with 0.06% retinol plus antioxidants. This is supposed to rejuvenate your skin. Of course, retinol, that's what it's for. Sloughs off 
you know, the dead skin cells and it's good for cell turnover. I just started using this, so I can't tell you if I like it or not, but I thought I would try it for the price. I think it was, again, I don't remember. I'll put it down below. So, and I'll keep you posted on this. I felt like if I couldn't get a higher end retinol product, which I'm not even sure is even necessary, uh, it was better than no retinol at all. So really happy to have this. Another thing that I am terrible about is sunscreen. I don't like the way it feels. I, I just really don't like it under makeup. It makes my skin feel sticky and it, it does something to the makeup that it just doesn't look good. So, but you have to do it. Sunscreen is really important. And I have been watching this Elta MD. I've been, I guess what you call sleeping on it for a very long time. Um, I finally picked this up. It was, I, I got it. I think it was like a 20 or 30% off. So this is not an inexpensive product. This is the tinted broad spectrum SPF 40. This has a moisture boost for dry and combination skin with hyaluronic acid, transparent zinc oxide finish. Okay. So I feel very good about being more consistent using this because it doesn't interfere or look bad with my makeup. But I'm going to tell you, my skin does feel a little dry when I use this. I, I'm not sure why. Maybe I'm just not used to it yet, but when I do use it, my skin feels a little bit dry. So I think what I'm going to start doing is mixing it with a moisturizer and see if that helps. This has come highly recommended. And so I am gonna continue to use this till it's all gone. I better because I think it was, it was like $42. I got free shipping um, and it was $42 plus a discount. And again, I don't remember exactly how much I paid for it. I'll put the pricing below. This is the Il Maquillage Primer. I didn't buy this, someone gave it to me. I had been wanting to try it and I have not really found primers useful. There's been maybe one or two primers that I've actually liked. The NYX Marshmallow Primer, I like the way it prepares my skin, but it's really rare for me to find a primer that I like. I wasn't super, I'm not super impressed with this. It comes with a little, little magnetic spoony thing and I don't have it with me, but it's kind of thick. It looks like that and it's thick like this. And then what I typically do is I, when I put it on, I press it into the skin. Now I've got makeup on right now, but I'm just gonna show you, you know, hoping in all, especially the areas that I really wanna try to fill in. And I think it, I, I, don't, I don't think it's a terrible primer, but I was hoping it would be magical and it wasn't, at least not so far. So, but that's been my experience with primer. I don't, I really don't find them to be super helpful. There is one primer that I really, really like. It's color correcting. And of course it's from Stila. It's the multi-correction primer. I love it. I love it. It's too expensive for me right now though. It's like $42. So I haven't picked that up, but that's probably my favorite primer of all time. So as far as this goes, I know a lot of people love, love, love this. I, can't really say that I love it, but it has coffee seed, vitamin C, and rose hip oil in it. Not, not super thrilled with it, not, not super stoked. Let's get to the one item that I bought that absolutely no, no, no. And it is this NYX Butter Gloss. This is in their limited edition holiday, their holiday collection. And the problem is I didn't order this. This came instead of something that I ordered. I will place a picture um, of what I wanted. Instead, I got this in it. This is called, this is what I wanted. I don't know the name of it because you can't get it anymore. At least it's out of stock at the moment, but this is actually what I wanted. Peppermint stick and it is very pretty. It is very, very pretty. It is a very pretty red, sparkly, beautiful red color. I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's pretty. But on my lips, 
no, I just can't do red. It just is not, I don't have a mirror right now, so I can't, I can't really see you really well what I'm doing here, but I do not like red lip. I do not like it. It just is not a flattering color for me. And this is a light shade. You might think it looks marvelous, darling, but I don't like it. I don't like red. I like much more muted tones on my lips. I just don't um, appreciate a red lip. So very pretty, but this is not what I ordered. And I was very disappointed. Thankfully, it was only $6. All right, on to the next thing. NYX Buttermilk Blush. This is in the shade Had Butter, and this is an orange. I love orange. I just love orange blush. I think it's really super pretty. When I got this though, it was, it's, it's definitely, it's like an orange peach. It's definitely orange, but it just, if you can see that, I'm not set up very well today for a video, but um, I don't know, when I put it on my face, it just didn't do what I was hoping it would do. So I'm gonna take this e.l.f. liquid blush brush that I have here, obviously this isn't liquid, I'm just gonna show you. Very pigmented. I wasn't, I, I like orange because I feel like it just really lights up the face and I'm wearing glasses today. I don't have my contact lenses in, otherwise I'd just take off my glasses. But I like the way it lights up the face. Um, but I'll tell you, it didn't last very long. Um, it, there we go. It just didn't last very long. Um, so it went on bold, and I, I can't see right now. Um, it went on pretty bold, but it did not last very long, and I was, I was very surprised by that. So, it was kind of like, I guess, I don't know how to describe it. I wasn't super thrilled with the shade of the orange. I thought it was going to be more of a sunny orange than it is. This is more of a peachy orange to me. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm, I, I, I'll use it. I'll definitely use it. So I guess I just didn't love it. If I'm gonna be honest, I just didn't love it. But it's okay. And this was $10. If I had tried it on in the drugstore, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. I mean, it's okay. I don't know, what do you think? I like to try cosmetics that, you know, light up my face. I like my face to look bright because I feel like um, it needs a little something something. So I try to um, buy products that are gonna light up my face a little bit. Elf Camo Liquid Blush. You know I love these. It came out with a new color. This is called Bold Faced Lilac. And this was $7. I was super stoked about this. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. I love purples. You know, I like, um, you know, lavender, you know, purple things. I've already got on something on my face. So what you're seeing right now isn't like virgin application. So you're just kind of getting an idea a little bit of, of how it applies. This is their liquid blush brush. I, I had been wanting to pick one up for a while. So I went ahead and got this as well. I'm having trouble seeing even with my glasses, but I'll, I'll just um, put a little bit on there. But even, even this, I was, I was just really surprised. Um, it's pretty enough, but it wasn't, it wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was going to be. And I looked a couple hours later and it was completely gone. So it didn't stay on my face very long, and I don't know why. Um, the other ones seem to be pretty longer lasting than this one. Maybe I just need to add more, I'm not sure. Maybe it was the brush, maybe I should put it on with my fingers. I don't know. But the pigment was a little disappointing, and it just didn't last very long. So that was kind of a bummer. I'm gonna put some of this on my nose. So anyway, this was kind of like a, mm, Anyway, very pretty. It just didn't perform the way I'd liked it to or um, what I expected based on what I'd been using um, as far as the previous camel blushes. But not terrible. 
It was only $7, so what are you gonna do? So dark circles. I tend to go for a peach or an orange under eye color corrector. So I picked up NYX Pro Fix Stick it from NYX, and this is in the shade Apricot. Now they didn't have any in peach, so this is more of an orange, and it was a little bit too dark. So I still used it. I was still able to cover, but I obviously I'm not gonna leave that sitting underneath my eyes. It did help cancel out that blue, dark blue, dark circle situation that I have underneath my eye. Definitely had to work with it with um, some foundation and some other concealer. But the one thing about it is that I found it to be a little drying. So again, I think this was, nine dollars i'm not 100 percent sure i'm sorry about this you guys i just decided to do a video today without being very well prepared and i haven't done a video for so long that i just did it on the fly and i just decided so i apologize for being a little bit ill prepared but i think it was nine dollars but anyway the color wasn't the best choice not terrible not the best choice the formula was a little bit drying. But what, what can you say? I'm 60. I was able to buy two products that I have been wanting to get for so long. I've, I've used them before, either had purchased them in the past or just you know put them on at Ulta and hadn't been able to get them for a very long time. Powder. I don't like using powder because for some, I just, I don't like using powder. But sometimes you gotta use it. And you know, if you are not careful, it can really, really look like crap on your face. So, but I will tell you, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. This, and it also comes in loose powder, but this is the translucent. This is an amazing powder. It is very finely milled and just awesome for setting makeup. Today, I used it. I hadn't used it until today. And I was so happy putting powder on my face, knowing it was just simply gonna set my makeup and it wasn't going to accentuate anything. I also picked up an e.l.f. little puff. This was $4. So I was so happy to have this to apply instead of using a brush or something. But anyway, I just press a little bit in there, but it is a wonderful powder to set your makeup. It is, I'll put the pricing down below. It is not an inexpensive powder, but I believe it is worth it and it will, it'll last me forever. I don't, I don't, I'm not scared to put it under my eyes. I'm not scared to put it around the deeper lines around my lips or on my lines here. It's just a really nice powder. So, Highly recommend. Although with IT Cosmetics, it seems to me like no matter what I buy with IT Cosmetics, um, it always it's always a win. IT Cosmetics so far, it, they're, they're batting a thousand with me. Actually today I am wearing, for foundation, I'm wearing the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. So that was a good combination. Another thing that I have been jonesing for, for so long, I have and I finally took the plunge. And let me tell you, I had a credit, I had a credit at Macy's for like a hundred bucks. So that's the reason why I was able to buy a couple of these higher end things. But the NARS Laguna Bronzing Cream. This is absolutely delish. I have wanted this for so long and I just could not bring myself to, you know, it, this is a luxury item that like if I didn't have the credit, I, I wouldn't have picked it up, but this is just absolutely gorge and it is so creamy and just so, mm. and um, it is just, oh, I love it. So I'll just go ahead. I've already got stuff on my face, obviously. I'll, I am gonna do some videos where I'm actually applying these, you know, from scratch so you could see, but you know, NARS products, in my opinion, are just so, they're just so good. I have some NARS foundation. I've used their under eye concealer and um, I am, I, I love their lip 
products. I just, NARS is just good. It's, you know, there's a reason why the price tag is so high, but it just, it just brings just a nice, lovely, just something beautiful, bronzy, sun-kissed, just love it. And it lasts. And it is very friendly to mature skin. Not cheap, that is for sure. <laughs> but as far as I was, it was worth every penny of that credit. All right, another thing that I have been wanting to replace, something that I use all of it in the past, is this Luxury Concealer by Fiera. I have purchased this before. I had it for like three years. You know, I used all of I it. I loved the way this performed. It was very creamy, very friendly to mature skin. So I picked up another one. This is in the shade Sand. And I thought that this was going to be a better shade for me than the medium shade that I got last time because I felt like it was a little bit too tan. So this, before I move on, this has um, hyaluronic acid plus collagen. Little disclaimer, anything that you put on your skin that says it has collagen, you really can't put collagen on your face and think that it's going to plump up your collagen because it's not. The collagen molecules are too big and they just, it doesn't work like that. You gotta take collagen from the inside of your body out. So collagen is a, there's collagen here, I'm sure. So it's not act actually a lie, but it's not gonna do much for your face. But there's something about this particular concealer. Uh, you can use it as just a concealer. You can use it as a foundation, but it is really super thick. Anyway, I was getting back to this. It's very creamy. Oh my gosh, it's very creamy. It covers really well. It's not drying. It doesn't settle in fine lines. It's very nice. This was not the best color for me though. This the shade. I'm I'm disappointed in the shade. So, but very very nice. And I highly recommend it and you know they are always having a sale. There's always a, some kind of a, amazing sale going on with Fiera. So if you're looking for a very nice, long lasting, mature skin friendly concealer slash foundation, I do recommend. And you know, the only thing is you order it online and hopefully you can get a good shade, you know, that matches your skin tone. I have been using this under my foundation. I've worn it a couple times just on its own with a little bit of blush, but I've mostly been using it as a corrective concealer. Everybody and their grandma, which I guess I'm technically could be a grandma, have been raving about, you know, these Laura Geller products, right? I've ordered these in the past and I really like them. This is the Laura Geller ba uh, Baked Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. This is in the shade medium that's what it looks like there this is a baked foundation i'm going to put this on my face by itself but you guys so you guys can see it but anyway i got their kabuki brush because i wanted to use it um, to be able to buff it in you know you've got this kabuki brush you can make it more firm or light so you can build it up if you'd like to it's um again very mature skin friendly i like it it does not sit in your wrinkles and just accentuate things so i really really like it and so what i've done is i've worn it by itself and i've worn it with concealer and i like it a lot i i will do a video on this very shortly i'm sure that you <laughs> i think pretty much everybody has seen the laura geller um, I would not have purchased it if it wasn't on sale, and it was. I picked it up with a, it was in a set. I think the entire set was like maybe $48. So it came with the foundation, it came with the kabuki brush, and it came with this beautiful blush, this marbleized blush in the shade, what shade is this? This is called Tropical Hues. I'm gonna go ahead and just place a little bit on my cheek so you can see, even though I've already got 14 shades of other things, but just so you can kind of have a look. But that's what it looks like. Very pretty, um, has a little bit of a glow and 
um, just very warming, warming to the face. I know I've got 50 things on my face already, and I know I've already said that, but it's just very warming to the face, and I like it. And I like the way it sits on my skin. So that is definitely a win. So the Laura Geller products, I've ordered the, her blush before, and I really like the blush, but unfortunately, I ordered a shade that was way too light. It was just this, it was a light pink, and it just wasn't the right shade for me, so I gave it to my sister. It works great for her. And so I was very, very happy with that shade. Another thing that came with it that I was very shocked at how much I loved it is this baked highlighter. I am not a highlighter kind of gal. So Natural Glow Illuminator, and this is in the shade uh, French Vanilla. So this, I thought would be very sparkly, very shimmery. It's really not. It's almost matte, but it is, what it does, what I really liked about it that I was so surprised, I, I was like, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Is when I put on my makeup, I contour right here because I've got these dark, these deep lines and they are just very unflattering. You know, they're deep and they make a lot of shadows. So. I found that I, when I put it here, it just did something wonderful. It, 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 I'm not sure if it's gonna work right now because, and I can't see, I wish I could see better. I, for some reason, I'm just having trouble seeing. But anyway, when I put them, when I put this down that, those shadowy areas, it just sort of toned them down and very naturally, and I put it um, up here above my eyebrows, and it doesn't, it's like this magic, it's like magical, it's magic. So it just does what it's supposed to do. Just gives you this little light, this little like creamy, lovely, light in a place where you really need it. And like around, I, I saw some people putting it around like the outer part of their lips before they would put on their lipstick and it just brightens things up without it being shimmery. So that was a huge bonus. I was very, 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 very impressed by that. So loving the Laura Geller. What just happened to my light? Well, I ran out, I ran out of light. I ran out of light because I ran out of battery. So I guess this is a good time to stop this video. <laughs> I'm gonna do just for kicks and giggles. My lips feel so dry right now. Just for fun, I'm gonna use this horrible red <laughs> lip gloss. <laughs> mm. It looks, it actually looks better on camera than it does in person, believe me. It's not flattering, not flattering. You may like it, but I don't. But anyway, I feel like I've got on 14 pounds of makeup. I probably do right now. So anyway, I just lost my light, so I'm gonna have to shut this thing th down. But anyway, it is really good to see you guys. And next video that I do, I will actually just do a fresh face of makeup with these new products. And it's good to see you. If you've liked this video, please do um, you know, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already and you feel so inclined, that would be great. So anyway, again, happy Thanksgiving and um, I'll see you next time.